Good morning, and welcome to the first inaugural episode of Waking Up with Wio. I am your host, Wio. Neo, uh, some would say. Got my coffee here. I'm all ready to go. Got a nice blend of uh, coconut cream and vanilla coffee going. It's very nice. Um, anyway. Uh, boy, oh boy. What are we doing? Well, as I have mentioned on YouTube multiple times, this is a very relaxed series. This is very, you know, going by the seat of my pants, I guess, as some people would say. There really aren't a whole lot of rules to what we're doing here. Man, there is nobody on right now. Did I really just, like, log on right when the fucking, like, servers came up? What the hell? I guess so. Today is reset day, so that makes sense. Um, what's the weekly event? Yeah, no, we're not pet battling. Screw that. We'll do time walking. It's a lot, a lot better. Um, well, let's, uh, I said that I would talk a little bit about, like, uh, gaming stuff too. So let's bring up some news, shall we? Let's look at some gaming news. Um, it looks like on Game Rant, what have we got? Oh man, a lot of people talking about Armored Core. Look, if, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, um, I remember back when uh, Armored Core was uh, announced so way back when. Gosh, how long has it been since Armored Core was announced? I don't even remember what E3 that was. Uh, uh, Armored Core 6, more specifically. I remember seeing it and thinking, wow, a new FromSoft game. Uh, but I knew what Armored Core was. Like, I knew it as a series. I didn't actually know what it was. Uh, but like, so here is, uh, here's, here's some Vati video footage of it. I guess they recently did a uh, a closed beta demo where uh, a lot of like big FromSoft YouTube people were able to uh, play it. But like honestly, like when I look at this, like uh, everyone said when it was first announced, everyone was like, "Oh, it's a new FromSoft game," but like don't expect anything Dark Souls like because. Uh, literally Armored Core is not Dark Souls at all. Like, don't get that impression from it. And I've never played another Armored Core game, but like, it looks unique. It looks interesting. It looks fun at times from the gameplay that I've seen. Um, I saw a clip earlier of like an actual, like, quote unquote boss fight and Holistically, it it looked like something that is akin to Dark Souls, but not like exactly. Like you, you could definitely tell there's some inspiration there, which is interesting to me. But anyway, oh, I finally got a neck piece in my vault. Look at that! I've been waiting to get one of those. Granted, it's only four oh two. That sucks. Hard ass, but I'll take it because it's an upgrade. Um. All right. Well. Oh boy. Well, I guess we could do some. We can either do some time walking, or we can do some regular dragonflight dungeons. I know last week's event was mythics. Oh wait, I actually have something to turn into here. Yeah, you can you can have that. Oh, and there's time rifts too. Kill me. Um What else have we got news wise? I've been hearing a lot about Dreamlight Valley. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Is that a potential drinking game? <laughs> Apparently there's 69 characters in Genshin Impact, which is uh, 
perfect. I've never heard of a more perfect uh, thing in all my years. Payday 3, I guess people are talking about. I heard that Payday 3 has to be uh, that they're doing the usual bullshit of persistently online. And I think a lot of people gave us some pretty hard backlash over that, if I remember. Um, God, did I ever upload those payday videos? Let me search this real quick. Okay, so I did upload the, uh, I have two lost episodes of Payday that were, <laughs> that were uploaded 10 years ago. Holy moly. Let's do like a, a live reaction here. Hello and welcome to the second or whatever episode this is, Payday, the heist episode. I'm your host, as always, Wienio. I'm joined by Toby Toby Fuckface, pair of fuck your face medic, <laughs> and... Ming Ting. She's like, no, hey guys. Ming Ting is not there. What? Uh, you can't reference real life stuff like that and not give any context or relation to it at all. That's just that's a good way to upset your audience. Hold on, I'm reloading this real quick. Let's get these freaking Eula airs whenever I fly down here. Anyway. God, this is this is a long time ago. I don't even know how he did that. God, so long ago. I sound like such a baby. Let's do it. Buy him on Amazon. God, that was so long ago. But hey, that's interesting that uh Interesting tidbit about that is uh Nick is in that video. There's your little cameo for the day, Nick. Hope you, uh... Hope you appreciate that. Look at this mess of a fucking inventory that I got. Let's get rid of... Oh, he doesn't want that. Okay. You say so. I don't know why they decide to go with all the lone people being Canadian. It's kind of mildly disturbing. But it's just the reality that we live in. Also, a ton of bait and fish in my inventory because I was busy uh, doing some fishing in Drain or trying to get some mounts. Um, Diablo 4 players want better side quest rewards. <laughs> um, I'm sure that only applies to max level kind of thing. People on higher world tiers because <laughs> I don't even recognize side quest rewards. Which, maybe that's the problem. Okay, Trey Griffith. Gr Gr Griffith? This man wrote a whole, whole article about how The Witcher 3 proves it's time for Geralt to retire. I don't think so. He should just stay as the main character of the Witcher series. No? Maybe... Maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe it's the kids who are wrong. Oh shit, Court of Stars, really? Oh god. At least this is easy. Well, I say that until we get to the uh, disguise part. Then it's not so easy, is it? John Romero considers Half-Life 2 a perfect shooter. Interesting. To be fair, John Romero's right. Half-Life 2 is pretty fucking great. As it's uh as it as it stands as a first person shooter.
I mean, to be fair, uh, God, what, Half-Life has to be like one of the most influential games of all time, right? It's crazy to think that. We'll, we'll probably never see another game with that kind of influence on the world, right? Like, it was pretty... It, it, it was such, like, a, a perfect game release at the perfect moment in time. I don't know. It just seemed like every everything was perfect in the time that it came out for it to come out. I mean, heck, I I think I'm still surprised that I don't see it on more uh, influential games like topless. I guess what's <laughs> what's the best way to word that? <laughs> Like, when I see lists of, like, oh, the most influential games of all time, I'm surprised I don't see Half-Life 2 up there more often. Um, seems a lot of people forget sometimes, like, the impact that it truly had on the gaming world. Like I said, I still think about it from time to time. I still am like, huh, that'd be really cool to uh, do some Half-Life 2 mods. Like, that would be interesting. Where? What? Oh, this guy's disabling all the beacons. But why? He's our tank, right? Yeah. I've never seen somebody go around and disable all these beacons before. Poison that. I'll say we're like chewing this guy's ass. He's not even gonna get a chance to drink the potion. He died way too quick. A rumor that Back for Blood 2 could be in the works? I never actually played Back for Blood. Um. I heard it was hot garbage, uh, but I know it tried to capture the uh, Left 4 Dead magic, and I don't think it succeeded. <laughs> I think that was the uh, big end result there, if I remember correctly. Which is a shame, because I would have loved to see another game like Left 4 Dead. Especially one that follows, uh, like, the, I guess you could say, director mechanic, quote-unquote, that they had in Left 4 Dead. It was really interesting and unique and could have been, uh, would have been a cool system to see other games try to, uh, build upon and see what it could do with it and stuff like that, but... But I don't even know if Back for Blood has like a uh, a quote unquote director mechanic or anything. I just remember that being one of the most interesting and cool things about Left 4 Dead. So it's it'd be a damn shame if it didn't have something like that, since that's like you know what makes Left 4 Dead Left 4 Dead really. But it's not, I don't think Valve's ever going to make another Left 4 Dead game. Like, let's be honest, Valve is pretty much pretty far removed from making games at this point, which sucks because they make fantastic games. You've done well so far, but we must ensure you blend in. My informants claim that a Burning Legion spy is attending this party. Oh boy, here we go. Just avoid drawing attention to yourself with All right, let's try to pick up some clues here. Seems like they're all on the second floor. Female gloves, cape, pouch. Hmm. Oh, someone found her. 
Ja. I always thought this mechanic in Court of Stars is really interesting. Trying to hunt for the imposta, as it were. Based on the uh, clues that the other party goers tell you. Um, what else we got? It'll be a simple matter to track All right, the final boss. And random. This guy should melt like fucking cheese. Is decorated with a dusk lily. The same flower adored by Thalysra. I... I'm not sure what you're getting at, Grand Magistrix. Then let me be plain. You bungled your assassination of Thalysra. In fact, she is very much alive. And wait, we are not alone. Impossible. My gods would never permit such an intrusion. How did we all just get this achievement? Yet another failure, I'm pretty sure I've had that achievement. This your chance to correct it. Dispose of these outsiders. Huh. Must return to the Nighthold. How dare you interrupt your betters? I will speed you towards your demise. Sorry, mommy. Your poop sees your toast. For the grand me. Easy peasy. Oh, I did hear about John Romero uh, was gonna release some Doom wads. I heard him. I heard a rumor that he was talking about it in like a Discord or something. How he uh, he released a Doom wad that I need to look up the name for because I don't remember what it was actually called. But he made a Doom wad that apparently is highly regarded as one of the best Doom wads, which go figure, the creator of Doom makes a Doom wad that's going to do well. Uh, and he, uh, he apparently is going to make a sequel to it, which a lot of people seem to be uh, into. I guess The Sims 4 got horse DLC. That's interesting. Is there horse armor? I guess people have also built farming machines and... Breath of the Wild, or uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, which means we've come full circle. Zelda is Minecraft. Confirmed. Oh yeah, where's the time walking vendor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my badges. I think this is the one that has the mount that I don't have. Yeah, I don't have this mount yet. Um. Interesting. Yeah, well... I think this is the only time walking mount that I don't have. Might as well buy it. Cool beans. Add it to the collection. Uh, in case you didn't know or care, uh, everybody has like that thing they do in WoW. I'm a mount collector. I've always been a big fan of collecting mounts. Uh, although I only have 474. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess Security Breach's DLC is supposed to be coming out, isn't it? That's interesting. I never actually played Security Breach, but I've watched multiple videos on it. Back when it first came out, and it was like an absolute buggy mess. That just... Was not... <laughs> it was not good at all. Uh, and I think it's a weird... Um, Definitely a weird direction for the FNAF series to take, but uh, hopefully Rune fixes some of that, or at least uh, does something better with it. How are they still posting articles about the devil in me? Didn't the devil in me come out a, a while ago? Or am I wrong? Oh yeah, and Twitter's rebranded to <laughs> X, or some say Kai. The meaning is the same. 
I find that very funny. That uh, Twitter rebranded to that. The Kingdom Hearts fandom is going absolute bananas over it, and I am here for it. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> despite uh, Twitter being a piece of shit website, um, it is very funny how uh, how this has all turned out. Like, I could not think of a more funny situation for the Kingdom Hearts fandom. I mean, let's be honest, Nomura might as well own copyright on the letter X at this point. <laughs> he might as well just take it as his own. So one of the biggest discourses I've seen lately, and it kind of ties into uh, what my Kingdom Hearts quote-unquote essay video that I'm making is going to be about. Um, essentially... A lot of the discourse I've seen around uh, Final Fantasy 16 coming out now. Keep in mind, I haven't actually like delved into Final Fantasy 16 myself, but one of the biggest criticisms I'm seeing with it is that you can just press X to win, quote unquote, uh, which is certainly an interesting take. Um, it's of the takes, it is one of them. Um, I'm not 100% sure I agree with that because I haven't actually seen, like... I haven't seen video footage of, like, basic combat. Every every video I've seen of Final Fantasy 16 is someone fighting a boss. And obviously that's not going to work, right? So this kind of goes into um, what this Kingdom Hearts video that I wanted to test theory-wise out is. Um, and I guess now waking up with Wii is shifting a little bit to behind-the-scenes footage. Which is fine. That's totally fine. There's no structure here. We're doing whatever we feel like doing. Move myself up. Um, and so my theory is, because a lot of people say... The exact same thing about Kingdom Hearts, and that is you simply have to press X to win. That you can simply mash X to win. And it. <laughs> it's funny because, like, when I look at, like, uh, mash X to win for Final Fantasy 16. I get a bunch of like Twitter posts and stuff of people discussing it. But when I go to uh, Kingdom Hearts mash X to win, it is countless articles about it, about mashing X to win. So my theory here is how far realistically could you get in uh Kingdom Hearts by only pressing X. Now, mind you, uh, mm, there's some caveats to this. So there's some very interesting stuff that needs to be discussed beforehand. Uh, one of the main things is, <sighs> I guess the best way to put it is, uh, where do you draw the line for uh, pressing X to win. Like, is this something where you can simply, you can't jump at all? Like, can you jump? You, you obviously can't use any abilities, but that doesn't mean you can't equip abilities, right? But you would not be able to like press square to block. You wouldn't be able to press square to dodge roll. You wouldn't be able to, uh, say like kingdom hearts Two. You wouldn't be able to do any reaction commands if you're pressing X to win. Um, and basically, I wanted to test this theory of how far could you get realistically by simply just pressing X in Kingdom Hearts. And to facilitate this experiment, uh, I wanted to give Kingdom Hearts the most fairest chance possible. And I'm going to reiterate all this in my essay video that I eventually make, but I wanted to give Kingdom Hearts the most fair chance possible of being beaten by just pressing X. So I'm going to play it on beginner. Um, I'm going to use every advantage that I can in terms of skills with like experience boosts and stuff like that. Uh, but when it comes down to combat itself, I'm just going to press X. Uh, 
And I think realistically it's going to be a shit show. Like uh, it, I will honestly be surprised if I can beat it by just pressing X. Um, I guess another area of the game in which this will be a struggle is the, uh, like Neverland and the world that never was the segments where you have to fly essentially, because that requires some basic movement. Now, obviously I'm going to be using basic movement. That's not a problem, but, uh, I think those are going to be the harder parts of the game. So look forward to that video soon. God, this is so, and it's like such a wild take of people posting on like the kingdom hearts subreddit and like this guy going into like, Oh, it's so boring. <laughs> All you do is press X and it, it goes back to a theory, but when, uh, or not, it, it goes back to a common thing that I heard growing up. Um, one of my good friends, best friend, Zach growing up had the same opinion about kingdom hearts. Um, it's, uh, and he's appeared on the channel multiple times. Um, go watch my, uh, super meat boy play through here on YouTube. It's actually Zach playing the entire game and me just watching him and commentating over it. Uh, but realistically, um, we, when we were growing up, we did like a marathon where we played through all the kingdom hearts games, uh, in a row, at least all the ones that were released up to that point. Um, Mind you, at this point, I don't think Dream Drop was out, and obviously the uh, 1.5, 2.5 bundles and stuff weren't out and all that stuff, so it was essentially just like Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Um, but when we played through it, like his still like common opinion was the only fun part of Kingdom Hearts was bosses. Now, granted, I can see where he's slightly coming from. There is definitely some monotony to be had in uh in kingdom hearts games um there are times where it does feel kind of samey going from group of heartless to group of heartless but strictly saying the game is press x to win has always intrigued me because i i hard disagree like uh, obviously a lot of the fun comes from the game of like uh you know, doing dodge rolls, blocking at perfect times, doing counterattacks, stuff like that, using magic, utilizing it in like clever and interesting ways. Like all of that is where the combat really shines. But, you know, it's just, it, it's been intriguing me lately. Like how far realistically can you get by just simply pressing X and where will that lead you? Speaking of which, uh, I don't know if I plan to test all of the Kingdom Hearts games with this, but if I do, Trust me, Chain of Memories isn't going to be a no-go. You cannot win that by simply pressing X. Because you can't do slights at all, which would be interesting. Maybe you can beat it by pressing X. <laughs> huh. Kingdom Hearts 2 would be pretty challenging because you can't do any reaction commands. And like half the bosses in that game have reaction commands that allow you to have good windows to attack bosses so it it's just one of those things of like oh well this seems just natural right like it, it the triangle became like such a natural button to press um you can't use any drive forms you can't summon anything you can't use any limit commands anything like that it god it'd be so wild to just thinking about it and that's what's so intriguing to me about testing this theory and even still, like I get that Kingdom Hearts for the most part is press X to win. Uh, dog's wrestling its food bowl now. It's like I'll, I'll fuck you up. Like I understand that pressing X is probably like seventy to eighty percent of what you do in a Kingdom Hearts game. Like that's there's no secret there. But. I am curious how far you could get and satisfying that curiosity is exactly where this video idea came from. Not to mention the fact that I've actually looked this up. People have made videos about how far you can get in final fantasy 16 by pressing X to win. 
But no one's made a video on Kingdom Hearts about it. And why is that? <laughs> is it because it's so blatantly like not true, or is it because it's so blatantly obviously true? <laughs> I'm not sure like which opposing end of the scale here is, because I could not be the first person to think of this. So it's just interesting to think of. I'm gonna put on some. Yeah, 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 some gelato beach. Let's put on some background music while we're talking. Keep this a little interesting while we listen to the uh, soothing sounds of my dog wrestling its food bowl. God, why does GameSpot suck so bad? I go to their website and I'm like, oh, like, uh, let me look up some news articles. And like half the fucking front page is NFL 24. Like, what the fuck? Well, here's the Jacksonville Jaguars roster and ratings. Like, who gives a fucking shit? Sorry, not a fan of sports games. Never have been. And then the other half of it is Remnant 2. I feel like the GameSpot has to be like kind of the kind of website that like post click video click oh, post click baby articles. No, right? It, it just seems like the, one of those kinds of websites. <laughs> God, even worse, IGN. Sheesh. Is Remnant 2 like a game that is coming out as uh, that came out? question mark hold up there's there is a dreamworks all-star kart racing how have i never heard about this game that's so weird oh it's coming out later this year so interesting thinking about hmm because didn't uh, didn't Disney just make their big uh heart racer didn't that just come out damn shame Sora's not a racer in that well guys I'm probably gonna cut it there I've been recording for a little bit now probably didn't find too much newsworthy stuff but more behind the scenes stuff coming in the future. Um, I imagine on future iterations of this, you'll probably see me actually doing some of the recording that I need to do for the uh, Kingdom Hearts Press X to win video, since I've, I guess, officially announced that on here now. But anyways, uh, this has been the first episode of Waking Up With Wio. Just a short little nugget of content for you to enjoy. I'm probably gonna hop back on WoW. I got a couple more things I gotta do there. Or maybe next time we'll spend more time on WoW. I just ran that one dungeon and was like, eh. We'll do more later. But anyways, I'll see you guys later today. The live stream. 1.30. Be there. Be square. See you then. Winio. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.